Hogwarts tutorials. This is part four of our Hufflepuff and dormitories. Hufflepuff common room and dormitories. Ah, it's late. Okay, so what we want to do first, we're going to get these rooms decorated, the interior of our dormitories. And then we've got several changes to make to our Hogwarts. Whether we'll get to make them all today, I don't know because they just keep piling up. We keep discovering new things and this thing and this. Oh, oh that go well. Oh, that go well. I want to do it this way. So, first things first, we're going to get these dormitories finished off. So, we want. Let's clear our inventory, shall we? Just to make things a little bit simpler. Oops. Clear. There we go, inventory's gone. So we want some yellow beds. We want our yellow banners. And our black banners. We want some birch stairs. Some chests. furnace um, some paintings and some cobblestone walks I'm going to try something I want to see if that will work or not okie dokie so first things first we're going to put our beds in so I'm going to put one there in the middle of the flat in the middle of all of the flats so let's go do that that way we can empty out of our inventory because there are more things that we're going to be needing. So four beds in each one. So we have seven dormitories here, I think. I think it was seven. My friend Centaur has managed to get in nine by using the bits at the back, as I said in the past tutorials. So um, there is room at the back. And she's got nine. Nine dormitories. And she's also managed to fit in a bathroom here behind that wall there's enough space there to make a shower room I'll show you pictures of it later because <laughs> it's quite awesome it's nice so we're going to put a stair next to each side of each bed it doesn't matter which side and we're going to put a chest on the other side Again, it doesn't matter which side, it's just a chair and something for their belongings. to the bed I 
think my music, oh no, I thought my music stopped then. There are lots of little tweaks that I want to make. I'm not actually sure we're going to get them all in. Because there's only an hour. And I really would like to start on the grand staircase next time. As I'm sure you guys want me to start on the grand staircase too. Right, so we're going to fiddle with that inventory so we can now get rid of the beds, the stairs and the chests. So we want some flower pots and we want a range of flowers so I'm going to go for the blue orchids because I like those, those are nice. We're going to go for those as well. What do we have in the way of yellow ones? Oh, I, I forgot what the yellow ones were called. Oh, we've got to have a poppy. I like poppies. Oh, the lilies. Ooh. Okay, we'll have to come back for those. Or not. We can get away with these, I think. Just put them where you think they will go nicely. furnace goes in the center. Now I'm going to try something. I haven't tried this before so I don't know if it's going to work but it just sparked in my head. It would help if I put them in the right place wouldn't it? I like that. I do. I like that a lot. So we're going to put the banners on above the beds. And the old painting. In fact, we're going to leave the paintings, I think. We're going to overdo it otherwise, aren't we? So let's put in those lilies, shall we? The lilies instead of the paintings. Oh, what's that one? Okay, and that room's complete. One room down. So let's do the banners. Oops. And some flowers. Put in a lily, a white one. That wasn't a lily, that was an orchid, wasn't it? There's the lilies. Furnace in the centre. And cobblestone wall above it. It makes it look like a chimney then, doesn't it? That's kind of cool. I like that. Oops. What is that? That was an oak, wasn't it? Uh, we'll have to pick that back up in a minute. It was a blue flower there, wasn't it? down 
let's add an extra red one and the blue ones. Cobblestone wall. Yeah. Whoops. There. Again, just put them where you feel like, where you think they'll look good. And let's add another one down. Oops, not too many. I kind of like them there now. I'm not going to go back and change them in the other rooms so. though. Day otherwise. Possibly got a bit carried away in this one. And that's another one down. Two more left, I think, and then one of our additions. So again, you don't have to do it exactly the same as mine. You can do it any way you want, because we don't see these rooms ever. So there's a bit of artistic license that we can claim and do them however way we want to do them. This is how I've decided to do them. Yes. And that's the last dormitory. We are going to make an addition here though. Um, for this we need oak planks. Get rid of that. And what else do we need? What else do we need? And we'll focus on that for now. So we're going to get rid of these. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. And that. So we've got a nice flat corner there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. That, that, and that. That, that, and that. So we've got a nice big corner here. So what we're going to do is one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Do we think? Is that too narrow of a? Oh, it might be. Not there, it's more as there, isn't it? So get rid of those. Sorry if I'm making a mess. That's better. So we're going to replace that with the door. Okay, so we want our door. So we want an oak door. We want grey wool for the floor. We want birch planks for the ceiling. And we want glowstone for the light. We also want a yellow bed again. Now my space is slightly different here. So I'm not sure if we're going to fit what I wanted to fit in here, uh, but we're going to try. We're certainly going to try. So we want some oak slabs and some oak fences. So first things first, we want the door. I like placing the doors from the outside. Bring up the walls. Ah, there we can see. So we're going to put a glowstone in that corner and in that corner there, I think. Now we can punch through the ceiling a little bit. Glowstone is in our way. And we want to put in some birch, but we want to be four high. One, two, three. So that needs to be replaced with oak. And then birch across the top, like so. Slightly different shape to the other rooms, but that's okay. I want to put that up there. So I'm going to try. So I want to plank there. Uh, plank there. Oh, I don't think we're going to fit it in. No, we're not. Unless we make it a bit smaller. To put the bed there. No. Um, yes. So it's not going to look quite the way I wanted it to. I have hoped like a four poster bed but I don't think we're going to fit it in properly no we're not never mind so we'll leave her with a nice double bed there like that Okay, so now we want all our interior stuff back. So we had the flower pots. Um, no, we won't. We'll do everything else first. We want the chests. We have our yellow banners. Uh, so we want our black banners. 
and we want some bookcases as well. Ah, I need to do the floor. Um, we can put a painting or two in here to brighten it up a little bit. Can I squeeze a fireplace in here? I cannot. So we're going to put, going to give us some banners. Just the one, we don't want to overdo it. Because this, in case you hadn't guessed, which you might not have because I forget, forgot to mention what, exactly what we're doing here. This is Madam Sprout's room. As I say, I like to give all the teachers their own private rooms as well. So that's what this is. This is Madam Sprout's. Professor Spout, I should say. Getting all my words mixed up today, aren't I? This is Professor Sprout's room. So now we need the door. So I just got rid of that, didn't I? We don't need the banners anymore. So this is Madam Sp Professor Sprout. So I thought of what's going on with my words today, honestly. There. Put a nice painting there. Oh, and then nice. No, I'm not a big fan of that score one. Actually, do. I've got rid of the oak. Okay, where's the lantern? The lantern makes a nice little bedside light, which we're going to put up there. In fact, probably don't need as much glowstone without with that. Ah, oh, that's nice. So we've got some flower pots back. We're going to put a blue cornflower in there. And do, 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 do. let's put a pink tulip as well. I'm not going to get many in here. Can we get one on the top there? Oh, we can. There we go. And that's Professor Sprout's room. a sign because it has to be sign posted um, but I think we'll go for a birch because we're already on oak so and we're going to call it Professor aye, aye. Sprout There we go. Why do I get the feeling I've spelt that wrong? Oh well. I'm going to put a couple of flowers here. And a couple along here. But don't so I just wanted to show you some pictures of Tor's dormitories, the rooms that she's done. She's managed to get nine of them in and she's decorated it slightly different as you can see. And I think they're absolutely brilliant, which is why I'm posting pictures of them for you all to see. Um, she's got a different texture pack to make we're using vanilla minecraft she's got her own little texture pack though which is why it might look a little bit different but it still looks amazing and as i say she's got the shower and the bathroom in there as well as professor sprout's room 
because she's jiggled her room slightly different. Her Professor Sprout's room is slightly bigger than mine, so she's managed to get her a four-poster bed inside there. Which, again, is great. So, I just wanted to show those off. Because I like it when people do that. I'm giving you the building bricks and I like it when people tweak them to make it their own. So, we are going to make some changes in here as well. So we want some oak stairs. We're going to get rid of these. Ah, but not that. What we're going to do is put some upside down. Uh, which way do I want these going? We want them upside down. This way. Now, oh, I'm going to give me a moment. Okay, we're going to go this way. Why are they not going the way I want them to go? Aha! So the upside down like that, that looks like a much better table. It's the same with these. I like the fact that my flower pots are staying up there. It makes things a little bit easier. That looks like a better table and we can fit things on them properly. And then this one. better I think. Okay, okay, so now we're going to move on to the back into the great hall. There are some changes that I want to make in there too. Going around this way is look at this way, isn't it? Ah we're going to make some changes out here first. So we want some stone blocks and we want some stone stairs. when I find them. There they are. And we want some stone slabs. See, I was never completely happy with these. So get rid of all those. Put in a block and then stairs all the way around the outside of it. When it comes to these, knock out the bottom one and put in a slab underneath. I was never completely happy with these. That's why I've not put them in my survival series. It was a lot of effort for something that I didn't particularly like. But after a bit of a play around, I came up with these. Which looks much better. they do they look so much better I'm actually tempted to put some flowers out here now but I think that would be overdoing it with the flowers as far as I know there are no flowers in the courtyard 
this one. Okay, so make sure you don't put one on the end there. Otherwise, we would be classed as a trip hazard. Yep. And we don't want to trip them up. and a slab underneath that one this finishes it off quite nicely so i have also forgotten to open up our doors on these so how many across do we have we've got one two three four five six seven alcoves across so we want this center one i'm just going to knock out the wall bit in fact, keep that one there. Knock out the fence. Get a torch. Torch on there, torch on there. And that is a doorway. In fact, we can put those bits back as well, can't we? Yeah. An entranceway into the courtyard from the courtyard. Same with this side, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it should be identical to the side. I'm just going to knock those out, put a torch on there, an entranceway because you can't be climbing all over the walls all the time. Okie dokie. Right, for our next change this door. didn't like this door, but I've tweaked it so that I like it better. So we want wood. What we want is spruce wood, or in fact, no, we want the oak wood, and it's log we want really, isn't it? Log. There we go, log. Spruce log. Uh, I think we'll change that for the oak log as well. So what we're going to do is on these ones, we're going to change for spruce log. Like so make sure your log is going across. Same with this one, log going across. These ones are a little bit trickier to get on the across, so where they're positioned, we have to add one and then knock them out. Same with this one. And God, no, something's not right. Ah, I've done the wrong ones. Right, no, that 
that's not right either, is it? Oh, I'm making a mess out of this one. Right. So, as you may have guessed, we're going to... That's wrong. I wanted oak, not jungle wood. Oak log. I've lost my buttons. These ones are going to be oak, but they want to be standing up, so they've gone different to the grain. It's the same with these. Up. And then spruce. Oak, standing up, and then spruce again, like that. To change these out for the oak, and these, and these. And for our buttons, we want blackstone button or polished blackstone button, I should say. I'm going to put those on the oaks like that. I like that. Now that looks like a proper oak door, doesn't it? A proper wooden door. The beam's going across it. It looks better than it did anyway. So for our next adjustment, we're trying to keep an eye on the time. We're doing quite well. Um, we want, I'm going, to, I'm going to clear my inventory again. Right, so we want We want some stone. We want some stone brick. We want some stone brick stairs. We want chiseled stone bricks. Cobblestone wall. We want some polished anzadite. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong. I'm getting all my words mixed up today. And we want a bit of spruce fence. Possibly a spruce button. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Right, so, as you may tell, I like my nights. In fact, this is not done. We might get time to do that. So, I forget how many is across here, so rather than counting it and then working it out and then finding it, we're just going to straight out find it. We want the middle, so we've got a line. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, one, one. So there's our middle. It's a bit easier. So, yeah, as you can tell, I like my nights. I'm going to put a lot more of them up there. I'm going to put a big one here because I really like this night. Oh, that reminds me. Glowstone. I like my nights. So we're going to go up three. One, two, three. Knock out those two. Come on, out one. All right, now then, this is where my memory is going to fail me. One there. One there, two underneath it, and stone brick stair there. Now I found this tutorial on YouTube myself. This is a tutorial that I have found of stone brick there. I don't know how well you can see. I'm just going to put that there. So we've put one underneath there. I'm going to put one next to it. Stone brick stair there and one upside down there. So yeah, I found this tutorial on YouTube. There are several 
tutorials for this night so I'm not entirely certain who came up with it in the first place. If you guys want I can show you the guy that I found because he's got four different designs. In fact I'll probably put a link to his, chat, his um, video in my description, I think it's only fair. So we want polished dance type up for and as I say he's got four different nights to choose from but I like this one. And then eight on top there. Although I do tweak this. So this is not identical to his. So I'm gonna put one there. And this is where my memory might actually fail me. Let me just double check to see. Um, one goes there. Oh, we put one there like that. Or is that? No, that's not right. Right, um, I'm just sorry, I'm just double checking. My memory's not brilliant. Ah, so it's two. I was going to go with one. Okay, so two stone bricks out there, and then a stone brick stair. I'm going to put a fence, a panel underneath there. This is where I've tweaked it. I'm going to put one on top there, and one on the sides there. So we can now get rid of that and we want some iron bars. There we go. So it looks like he's got a sword. See, the guy in the tutorial originally used cobblestone, but it looked like a cricket bat. Now it looks like a sword. So we're going to come back over to this side. Um, so we've got our chisel brick in. Right. So it's a good job I did double check that because I was putting that in the wrong place. Stone brick stair goes under there. And then we have a stone brick and then a chisel brick. stone bricks on the top and the bottom, cobblestone wall on either side of it. And there we have our night. There we go, he's got some eyes. It's going to get rid of this glowstone. I am going to put some on his back. can't be seen and it lights him up quite nicely there, doesn't it? Okay, so next change. I want to come in here. We are going to change those tables, but I am going to leave them to last. Um, because they do take the longest and I'm not sure we're going to have the time. So I might come back and do them at a later date. So we want some oak stairs, some oak slabs, we also want some spruce doors and a spruce gate. And what we're going to do is replace this end one with this upside down stone brick, uh, upside down oak stair. Same on that side. Then we're going to get rid of all of these. And replace with slabs. door we're going to put behind each chair like so I 
I would use spruce for the chairs, but they'll blend in too much with the floor. And I really like the floor being spruce. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a fence in between each chair. And open the fence. That looks like they've all got arms. How cool is that? So now we want some spruce pressure plates and we want some cake. This is one of the main reasons I wanted to change it because we can now put things on these tables. So this one is this tutorial is image heavy. I do apologise. I'm probably creating more work for me than I am you. Um, <laughs> so I think that looks much better. We've got proper high back chairs. And we're going to do, we're going to come back to those tables. I want to continue with the nights out here. So for our nights, we want some stone slabs, so stone brick slabs, some stone brick slabs. We want some armor stands. We want netherite helmet, the chest plate, the pants and the shoes. And I think we're going to want some torches as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a knight in the middle of each one. I put one there, that torch is going to have to go. Uh, we'll put one in the just above him, I think. So in between, in between, you're going to have to go a little higher, torch. Armour stand. And we are going to put some down here too. Well, let's put them in the centre first. get the pencil. Right, so these should be five whole blocks above his head. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're not going to count that one. It's one, two, three, four, five and then down. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, eight. Let's put that there, there we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it wants to go one lower. Shame I can't fit that trap door on there because it's now visible. Can I not get it on there? No. Okay, I do think I might have made these a bit too far apart. I 
think they should be closer together. Never mind. We'll stick with what we're doing today. We're not, I think we're going to be lucky to get everything that I want to get in today without adding more. We might come back and add more at a later date. Can you get in an extra row? You could. But we're not going to do that today because we just don't have the time. to be too much. There is such thing as too many nights. Shocking, I know. <laughs> but we don't want to overdo it. You might find your computer starts to lag the more that you put on. So you might, if your computer starts to lag, because we are putting a lot of graphics in here, then you might need to reduce the amount of nights you put in. And you may have a similar problem when we do the grand staircase, the interior, because there's a lot of picture frames on there. How many up off the ground is that? One whole block. So he's there, isn't he? Let's double check that. Nope, it's too high. There we go. this every two whoops we can use those I didn't realise I could oh I did not realise I could do that. Oh that looks better. Oh we're definitely gonna do that. We can put as many as we want in now. doesn't it? Get up there, there we go. Oh, 
Ah, oh, that looks better. That looks so much better. Ooh. Right, we're going to move on to over here. And we are going to put our lights on. But first, we're going to close it up. Because in the film, you see knights all over this wall, which is why we've added more, and all over this wall. I have put them on that wall at one point, but I do think they might be too many. So what we're going to do for today is we're going to stick with this wall. And if you want to put more on your wall, that's entirely up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to come halfway in between our windows. I'm going to put one there, then two, then three, then four. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, okay, let's try that one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's on the 12th block from the floor. I need to put my answer deck back. Where's it gone? There it is. So 12th block from there to there. So you should be in between the windows. And you're going to come out one each time. So same on here, not with that, so it's come out one, then two, then three, then four, and go all the way across. until it's level with the rest of the brick wall. Like so. And we're going to continue with our knights. So a gap of two in each one. So he's... wearing all that armour. You may have noticed if you're watching the survival series as well that these are iron. There's no way we're going to get enough netherite to make this armour for all these knights in survival. We're struggling with iron as it is. Door. I could squeeze it in the door, but now we didn't. Which 
which is fine because the Hufflepuff rooms are meant to be hidden. They don't like people going in them. That's why we don't know what they look like. Nobody's gone in them. One in the corner there. Okay. So again, I do think I might have left these a little on the wide side. And I can fix that really. By bringing them down two, two blocks. If we bring these down two blocks, it's one, two. One, two, three. It's on the fourth block. It's one, two, three, four, five. That one they're on and then bringing them down. So you bring them down a block. No, 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 no. We're going to bring them down and start off over here, shall we? By a block. Because I think I've done these a bit. And then knock them off like that. torches back. Nope, nope. Behind your head please. Two, three, four complete blocks above each night. One, two, three, four. Is that right? Should we double check that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The gap there is bigger. Unless I didn't have my gaps right evenly spread. Which is entirely possible knowing me. Probably got the first lock right and the second lock knocked. Never mind. So we can bring these down a bit. Put a torch behind them. Not all of them because they don't want them to glow. Same down here. Sort out our torches. Okay, so four complete blocks above. One, two, three, four, and there it goes. Are we looking even with spread there? We are, and it's looking a lot better. And we can fit in an extra one there. So 
So let's put in our extra ones. And our torches. So we want four complete blocks above the night. It's one, two, three, four. I don't think I had them evenly spread to begin with. Oops. torches behind them okay and again four complete blocks above them so it's one two three four it's one two one two not going to fit one there one two one, two, drop the knights, add in an extra one there, and same on this side. Again, one, two, three, four, two, and two, so the two spaces apart. Oops, we'll go back and get him in a minute. Four complete blocks above. One, two, three, four. So it goes there. Now that looks a lot better. And we can fit in an extra row along here, which is great. One, two, one, two. And voila! Again, you can put them on this wall should you wish to, but I do think that's overdoing it a bit. So we're not going to. Well done, something's not right there. Okay. I've forgotten to bring these down. That's better. Stark looks amazing. I'm very, I like that a lot. And I love my knight. Hello, Sir Lancelot. <laughs> Do like that again if your computer is starting to lag it means there's too many and if you don't want it to lag you're gonna have to take some away 
maybe just take it off one wall or I don't know it depends all on your computer I'm afraid so I do want to make changes to the tables in here as well but we're out of time I've been on for an hour uh, let me just double check it uh, I have an hour and ten minutes oh, so I'm already over so we're gonna to have to leave it there for today next time we're going to start on our grand staircase tower we're going to do the exterior of the grand staircase tower and if we get time when we finish that we might start fixing those tables on the inside but for now we're going to leave it there and until next time take care of yourselves oh look at that number sorry get distracted take care of yourselves Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button so you don't miss the next part. Because trust me, there's lots more parts to come. We've barely scratched the surface of this build. But I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. So until then, like and subscribe. Goodbye. <laughs>